Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about the Rochelle Fairdale, Illinois EF4 tornado, which occurred on April 9th, 2015. So let's uh, go ahead and zoom in on Fairdale, which was actually towards the end of the tornado. Now I've already gone back in time to April 10th, 2015, so a single day after the tornado hit Fairdale and Rochelle. So this was actually the end of the tornado, like I said. You can see it over there, but we're going to go to the beginning, and you can see this path. It's very evident. Gets a little bit darker right through here. Now this is uh, Rochelle's down here. So now the tornado actually started. It began near the town of Franklin Grove. However, there's no satellite imagery of this. And it was like an EF0, EF1 at this point. But we will start over here in this first little community. The tornado initially began around 6.39 p.m. And that was uh, over by New Franklin. But it moved its way up here, north of Rochelle, to little... Let's see if we can actually find Rochelle. This is Rochelle right here. So this is a subdivision of Rochelle. I think it's called Deer Creek. But... Uh, this is where we saw our first significant damage. As you can see, if you zoom in, these trees are knocked down. You see trees right here, trees right here. These trees are completely knocked down through here. And then they, uh, then the tornado continued uh, northeast. And it looks like it knocked down a few houses right here. Now, there are a ton of cars everywhere. And this was one day after it happened, so... And I'm not even quite sure why there are so many cars, because there's only like two houses. It seems like a lot of people, but you know, it's always good to see people come out and help. And these were probably damaged a little bit. Nice houses. It always seems like the nice houses are the ones that get hit in these videos. Anyway, uh, so the path right here goes through this field. A ton of cars. Look at this. And this is all like, there's a house right here and a house right here. But, I mean, I'm counting, like, dozens of cars. So this area right here, excuse me, not this area. They look the same. This area right here, actually I actually have a picture. I'm going to throw that up right now. So here's the picture of the uh, Deer Creek subdivision of Rochelle. And uh, as you can see, houses are torn away, being sucked in this uh, direction, which, be, which would be uh, northeast. Now, this road right here, this is South Richard Road, and the people who came out to survey the damage, uh, they said that they uh, believed the tornado reached EF4 uh, intensity right after it crossed this road. And all of these uh, houses and all the destruction that came with it are very common with EF4 damage. This right here is the picture that we were just looking at with the debris being sucked this way. Uh, some of the surveyors actually thought that it could have been EF5 damage. However, after further inspection, they left the rain at an EF4. But anyway, the tornado continued onward. As you can see, the tracks right here went through this little forest or whatever that is and through this pond. And it continued. We got some straight line right through there. It looks like it damaged this a farmhouse out here, lots of cars there helping out. Like it continued. Although it does look like it's kind of dodging a lot of houses. So that's always good news. Of course. Ooh, it looks like this one was pretty damaged. You can tell by all the cars. Wow. So at this point, the tornado actually weakened quite significantly. It went down to an EF2 or an EF3. But it continued. We zoom out. This long line. It's so obvious just when you look at it. Now, once it crossed this road right here, Route 64, it uh, began to intensify yet again to EF3, EF4 levels. Now, there was a car from one of these houses, or uh, from maybe it was. Uh, the restaurant over here, but it got thrown over a mile. And I've been trying 
to find this car. Of course, a mile is pretty far. Um, what's this? Well, there's a plane. <laughs> Not what we were looking for. But it threw a car pretty far. Then it continued onward, and I actually hit a... So I don't know if it was this farm or if it was another farm further up the road, but uh, one of the farms after this place had a huge concrete silo that had actually collapsed. And a lot of the uh, surveyors said that that would be more in line with EF4, even EF5 level intensity. And it could have been this farm right here. But I can't quite see enough detail. So the tornado continued onward, crossed this interstate right here, Interstate 39, and then it actually weakened quite significantly. It weakened down to a EF1 or EF2 yet again. Some of these houses had minor damage, but it, can, it even had a satellite tornado at this point, like an EF0 that was around it. Maybe it caused that. I don't know. But it continued onward. Probably around here or so, the strength of the tornado increased quite significantly, went, uh, going back up to like an EF3, uh, maybe lower level EF4. But it continued onward and hit the community of Fairdale, which is a very small town. But as you can see, it just completely destroyed half of the town. It was uh, All these houses were completely swept away. And unfortunately, two females in their upper 60s passed away in this town. And you can see that, I don't know, that must be some sort of crop or some sort of corn or something. But that spilled all over as well. Let's look at a before image. Yeah, wow. They look a pretty nice town. Let's see if I can see anything on Google Maps with Fairdale. Lots of plots still open. Wow. All right. Do they have do they have Street View? They do. Yep, so this is definitely before the tornado. Let's see what the... It looks like they can only go to 2012. So they don't even have anything after the tornado. But it gives you a good idea of kind of how nice of a small community this was. So quite a bit of damage here. And then the tornado continued onward. And the satellite image actually actually ends. But overall, this tornado traveled 30 miles. Look at that, that huge scar. And it just continues. The tornado finally dissipated around 7.20 p.m. So it went for about 40 minutes but as you can see very long very straight line well there you have it that's kind of an overview of the 2015 Rochelle and Fairdale tornado thanks for watching